So one day in September, on a Friday, Albert Peachy, a new student, decided to drive down from Mifflinburg, Pennsylvania. It's about 100 miles from North Baltimore, where I am, and spend a day driving with me, running service calls. Now, my pattern is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I go to 6 a.m. yoga. So, on Friday, I said, Albert, I'll meet you at Starbucks at uh, 8 o'clock Friday morning, and uh, we can get in the truck and go run calls from there. Well, as uh, luck would have it, uh, I'm sitting there with my buddy, and a friend, Scoutmaster friend comes in to chat a little bit, and then a woman came in, one of the yoga girls, and she needed help with a dryer. Well, it turned into a little bit of a crowd, you know, or four of us there, and of course I didn't realize it, but Albert was, he had gotten there early, and he was sitting watching this this group and listening. He was close by. And then, of course, um, people started to leave, and he walked up and introduced himself. Now, I had never met Albert, but I knew he had uh, a German-English accent. So, as he walked up, lo and behold, I'm confronted with a classic Amish gentleman. And you know, he had the hat, the beard, the suspenders, and he was a a very quiet, soft-spoken, analytical, interesting young man. It was quite a pleasure to spend a day with him. Late in the day, after Albert and I got to know each other a, a bit better, uh, he reflected on watching this... Um, group of people at Starbucks and a woman walking up wanting to get her dryer fixed and commented that initially he thought that I had actually staged that for his benefit. And that woman walked up wanted me to fix her dryer and you thought we had staged it, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> it just appeared that way. <laughs> it really did. It really did, right? I mean, here I was coming down to you. You know, you look stuff up on the internet, and you don't always know if it's a, uh, you know, a scam artist or whatever. Right, sure. And here I come down here, and it's just, it's all here, just like, like it's on the internet. Right. Just same old stuff. Same old stuff. Your voice, the same as on the videos and everything. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Maybe this is real. <laughs> For once, it's real. Yeah. Yeah. And then that woman walks in, and she wouldn't let go of us, right? That's right. Off we went, running service calls. I had lined up uh, three or four calls for him to see that day, and as it turned out, uh, two more came in, and we wound up running six. It um, turned into a profitable day, not a record breaker, but a good day, $867 after parts, which was about $144 per call. We were fortunate. We completed all six. Normally, I would expect five out of the six. But it was a, it was a very good day and lightning for Albert. And at the end of the day, um, we sat down and reflected on his observations. Watch my second video so that you can hear what Albert has to say. <laughs> 